So today I'm going to be reviewing some routers I've been in the market for. A new router because my old router started, I think it started dropping connections and it just started to feel slow. This is the router I've had. It's the D-Link DIR825. Uh, this came out in late 2009 and I've had that. So I've had this for probably five years. I mean it was one of the top of the line routers at the time. It does 802.11n obviously but at not very good speeds and at not very far distance. Um, and now that there's a new standard coming out, I thought it was time to go with something that is a little bit faster. So these are three of the routers um, I chose to kind of compare. Uh, the first one here is the um, it's the um, AC66U. It's 802.11 AC router. Um, you know, they're about it's about the same size as the old one. It has a nice textured it has a nice textured front on it. I mean, it's a pretty nice looking router. It's for, it's pretty small, um, and this is an AT, uh, AC seventeen fifty router. What well, that that's generally just a um, that's generally just signifies the kind of speed of the router. In general terms, I mean, there's so many variables and factors that goes um, into measuring the uh, router speeds. But generally speaking, if you have an AC seventeen fifty, that means you have it's um, wireless eight hundred two eleven AC, and top speed combined on all the radios is seventeen. 1750 megabits per second. Um, this old N, I believe that probably maxed out at about 100, 150. And then, so real world, what you usually get is about half of that at, at, for throughput at best. Um, but you, you might see other routers that are like N, N300, N600, or N900. Those are the 802.11n routers. And um, those are just like the fastest speeds it goes. So if it's an N600, it's 600 megabits per second is what you're going to get, um, theoretically. Uh, the other one, the other router I chose here is the Nighthawk, uh, Netgear Nighthawk. It's an AC1900 router, um, so it's slightly uh, faster speed. It's also a lot larger of a router. I mean, if you kind of compare these two, you can just see. I mean, it's a significant size difference, right? But anyway, I chose the um, this Nighthawk because it's basically one of the highest rated routers out. So it's just the best. Um, kind of overall router that's going to be fast and have the latest AC technology. The other thing about this router that's great is it has a dual core um, processor. So that's one upgrade you get um, compared to this, to the um, 66, the Asus router here. Uh, Asus does make an AC1900 router, but uh, I kind of like the Netgear better. They're 1900, um, the Asus. It's sim it looks similar to this, but that you can't really wall mount it flat, and it stands up like this. So I, that's a design I didn't really like, because what happens is it stands up vertically like that. Then you have to plug in the Ethernet cables like this instead of in the back. Like so, it would be like this, and then you plug it in kind of near the bottom there. I don't know. I just didn't really like the design. I like just the typical where you plug it in the back, and you can kind of hang it on the wall. So that's why I chose the Nightgear one, and it's also um, rated higher anyway in the research that I've done. Um, and then finally we have the Asus AC2400. That's This is their like top of the line. Um, it has all the newest radios and it supports obviously AO211 AC. It has multi-unit MIMO and um, it has a dual core processor as well. So I picked this one just to kind of see if it was worth it. The This one basically retails for $279. Uh, this one you can get for about $190. Um, this one is 150. So basically, you go from the AC, the AC 1750. You're going to pay about 150 bucks for uh, a good router with that speed. The AC 1900 it's going to be about 180 to 200. And then if you jump up to the top of the line, Asus AC 24. This is 280. Um, Netgear also makes the Nighthawk a different version. That's a step above this one, which is the, a competitor to this. Um, I think it's a Nighthawk X6 or something. Anyway, it's a little bit of overkill, but I just wanted to get this Asus one to just kind of compare. 
So the other thing you, you get with the jump to the AC1900 um, routers anyway currently is this these have USB ports, but they're going to be USB 2.0. So you have two ports in the back, but they're both um, USB 2.0. And then this one, these routers now with the du dual core processors, they generally have a USB 3.0 port. Um, and it's located in the front here. There's also a um, USB port in the back, but that's the 2.0. And same deal with the Asus router. Well, the Asus router is really stupid design because it has this flap here. And you gotta have this thing hanging down if you want anything plugged in there. So hate that. I don't know why they just put it on the back. But these also have uh, the USB port in the back as well. So they're all four port, you know, gigabit Ethernet. You can see, you can see my old router had it a USB port 2.0 as well. It's five years ago, it has the same one as these newer ones. Um, this was one of the first routers that had a USB port actually, but I never ended up even using it for anything. It always was a little bit flaky. But on the newer routers, you'll be able to put uh, a USB driver or even a printer, but a USB drive for network attached storage is kind of nice. So you can see, they call it, this Netgear is um, nicknamed the Night the Nighthawk. It's um, it's my favorite designed one out of all these, out of all the routers I've been looking at. If you check out the size compared to, so if you check out the size compared to the Netgear, they are about the same. Here's kind of the two routers. I mean, they're pretty close in size. The Asus is a little bit wider. Uh, the Netgear is a little thicker on the back. So these are the three routers that I chose to compare. I'll get them all hooked up and play with them a bit and let you know in part two what I liked about each one and which one I think you'd be most happy with if you're in the market for a 802.11 AC router.